We have high school, Bluffton High School principal Steve Baker here after the third house meeting, Saturday, February, I believe the day is 18th, sorry. And one of the issues brought up and discussed fairly extensively was what's known as the K2 or SPICE law. Um, synthetic marijuana that a lot of kids are smoking and getting hurt. And Mr. Baker has a very personal connection in the sense that he sees a lot of kids as principal and he has some very passionate opinions about it and we just want to give him a chance to share those. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, mm -hmm. it, it's very frustrating to me. In fact, it angers me that uh, people in our community are selling substances, even though they're legal, to our students that they know will hurt our students. Mm -hmm. They know that they're selling it to them to smoke. And I can't give you names or an exact number, but I believe since the school year has started, we have had four of our students mm -hmm. who have purchased uh, the K2 spice, those kinds of things, and have ended up in the hospital, in the emergency room, and, and some of those, uh, their lives were at risk. Mm -hmm. And uh, we continue to sell that here in Wells County, and we continue to make lots of money off of that. From my understanding, it is a big profit maker mm -hmm. for the businesses that sell it. I want to be very clear. This is not a school problem. Mm -hmm. It is a community problem. And I want our community to get on board and talk to these businesses and hold them accountable and please help them understand that what they are doing is hurting the children of our community. And I want the business people and the community in general to get behind that stance and not allow that to be sold in our community anymore. It hurts our students. They know it hurts our students, and yet they continue to make money off of it. Now, you mentioned earlier, um, not to put you on the spot, that your school has, you, you've made it clear, and it's obviously more than it's a community problem. It goes far deeper than just uh, administration and school. But you said the school has done certain things, presentations or whatnot. Can I explain that? Yes, we're doing everything from an education standpoint we can. We are educating our students about the harmful effects. We are bringing in speakers to talk mm -hmm. to students about the harmful effects. We're doing everything we can from an education side of it mm -hmm. but when it's legal and it is sold a very few di uh, small distance from our school mm -hmm. to our students and they can go get their hands on it uh, anytime that it's very hard to educate them in one building when our business some of our businesses in town will support the use of it by selling it to them with absolutely no problem right. and I, it bothers me that our community business people would exploit our children to the point of near death mm -hmm. to make a buck off of them. Right. Not to put you on the spot, but in what practical ways, and let's limit it to parents right now of students. I'm not even talking, I'm even including parents of students who would never even touch this stuff. How can they reach out, not necessarily to maybe some of the students, and I'm not getting any privacy concerns or anything, but to other community members to help get something practical and tangible going. Well, they're doing it, the business is doing it because they make money off of it. Mm -hmm. So I would say hit it where, hit it where it hurts mm -hmm. in their pocketbook and boycott. Find out who these businesses are. It's not hard to find out who mm -hmm. they are. Talk to students, talk to police officers. You can find out who these businesses are. There aren't a lot of them. There are a few. Find out who they are. Boycott them. Don't buy their product of any kind at their businesses. Tell others about it. It's time that our community takes an active approach to this mm -hmm. and takes a, a proactive stance and find out who, where these places are and don't purchase anything from them and we will force them to stop selling it. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.